Motivational Interviewing, Wikipedia Article Audio Motivational interviewing is a counseling approach developed in part by clinical psychologists William R. Miller and Stephen Rolnick. The concept of motivational interviewing evolved from experience in the treatment of problem drinkers, and was first described by Miller in an article published in Behavioral Psychotherapy. Miller and Rolnick later elaborated on these fundamental concepts and approaches in 1991, in a more detailed description of clinical procedures. Motivational interviewing is a method that works on facilitating and engaging intrinsic motivation within the client in order to change behavior. Overview Four Processes of Motivational Interviewing Adaptations Motivational Enhancement Therapy MI Groups Motivational Interviewing for Leadership Limitations Applications Sources MI recognizes and accepts the fact that clients who need to make changes in their lives approach counseling at different levels of readiness to change their behavior. During counseling, some clients may have thought about making a behavior change, but may not yet have taken steps to make that change themselves. Alternatively, other clients may be actively trying to change their behavior and may have been doing so unsuccessfully for years. For a therapist to succeed at motivational interviewing, they should first establish four basic interaction skills. These skills include, the ability to ask open-ended questions, the ability to provide affirmations, the capacity for reflective listening, and the ability to periodically provide summary statements to the client. These skills are used strategically, while focusing on a variety of topics, such as looking back, reflecting on a typical day, the importance of change, looking forward, and examining one's confidence about behavior changes. Motivational interviewing is non-judgmental, non-confrontational and non-adversarial. The approach attempts to increase the client's awareness of the potential problems caused, consequences experienced, and risks faced as a result of the behavior in question. Alternatively, or in addition, therapists may help clients envision a better future, and become increasingly motivated to achieve it. Either way, the strategy seeks to help clients think differently about their behavior and ultimately to consider what might be gained through change. Motivational interviewing focuses on the present, and entails working with a client to access motivation to change a particular behavior that is not consistent with a client's personal value or goal. Warmth, genuine empathy, and acceptance are necessary to foster therapeutic gain within motivational interviewing. Another central concept is that ambivalence about decisions is resolved by conscious and unconscious weighing of pros and cons of change versus not changing. The main goals of motivational interviewing are to engage clients, elicit change talk, and evoke client motivation to make positive changes. For example, change talk can be elicited by asking the client questions, such as how might you like things to be different? Or how does interfere with things that you would like to do? Change may occur quickly or may take considerable time, depending on the client. Knowledge alone is usually not sufficient to motivate change within a client, and challenges in maintaining change should be thought of as the rule, not the exception. Ultimately, practitioners must recognize that motivational interviewing involves collaboration not confrontation, evocation not education, autonomy rather than authority, and exploration instead of explanation. Effective processes for positive change focus on goals that are small, important to the client, specific, realistic, 
and oriented in the present and slash or future. While there are as many variations in technique as there are clinical encounters, the spirit of the method, however, is more enduring and can be characterized in a few key points. There are four overlapping processes that comprise motivational interviewing, engaging, focusing, evoking, and planning. They are both sequential and recursive, and often depicted in diagrams as stair steps, with engaging at the bottom as the first step. Motivational enhancement therapy is a time-limited four-session adaptation used in Project Match, a US government-funded study of treatment for alcohol problems and the drinker's checkup, which provides normative-based feedback and explores client motivation to change in light of the feedback. Motivational interviewing is supported by over 200 randomized clinical control trials across a range of target populations and behaviors including substance abuse, health promotion behaviors, medical adherence, and mental health issues. MI groups are highly interactive, focused on positive change, and harness group processes for evoking and supporting positive change. They are delivered in four phases. Motivational interviewing for leadership is an approach that guides leaders in helping employees resolve their ambivalence about change by encouraging employees to examine their own ideas, their thoughts about the importance of a particular behavior or system change, and their confidence in their ability to succeed and by encouraging employees to identify their own solutions using ideas they already have within. MeLead is a method by which leaders can expand their skills as transformational or servant leaders. Many studies using MI have specific inclusion slash exclusion criteria. For example, Project Match excluded those who were homeless and involved in the criminal justice system. A randomized trial in drug abuse services Miller and Rolnick conducted in 2002 provided motivational interviewing sessions to clients in order to elicit behavior change by exploring and resolving ambivalence. They enrolled 152 outpatient and 56 inpatient clients who were entering a public agency for drug problems. The researchers excluded clients who reported insufficient residential stability. A critic of these studies argues that to represent real-world clinical activities, such studies must include every client entering the facility under study. Examples of fields in which motivational interviewing is being applied include Brief intervention for behavior change, substance dependence, health coaching, mental disorder, problem gambling, dual diagnosis, classroom management, parenting, coaching.